Hello, I'm Luisa Tender. I was born and raised in Porto, so I am particularly happy to be playing for uh, Porto Piano Fest, and this is my first online festival, so um, I'm even happier and a bit nervous because of that. Um, I'm filming from Alentejo, from the Portuguese countryside, um, East Central Portugal, near the border of Spain. Um, I've made my recording of Brahms' pieces in Dramatic Opus 117, I've made it yesterday in Lisbon, where I live. I've been living in Lisbon for 16 years now. Um, I left Porto when I was 19. I spent um, some years studying abroad in the UK, in the US, and also in France. Um, and then I returned to Portugal, and I've been living in Lisbon uh, for 16 years now. And I, I, I really love this country. So um, I chose, as I said, Opus 117 for this festival. This is a cycle of three pieces, three intermezzi, very intimate pieces by Johannes Brahms. And, um, well, you've asked me, what about this repertoire st stands out the most to me? Um, I think I would like to talk a bit about um, the sense that it makes to me to play this, these three pieces at this very particular moment of, of, of um, uh, of history of, uh, in the middle of this um, situation that we are going through and that is affecting all of us. The, um, so, many people have said that Brahms, late, the late piano music by Brahms was sad or depressive. I don't see it that way, but he, I think he was definitely looking back at his own past. Um, he was an old man, he was, the pieces were composed that all the four cycles from 116 to 119 were composed shortly before his death. Um, so I, I really, it's easy to, ima to imagine that he was looking back, contemplating his own life. Um, and this can sound depressive or sad, but I think it's much more than that. Um, and because of the whole situation that we are going through, I think Many of us, myself included, have the time to, uh, in some cases, and as it is my case, for the first time in their lives, to really look back to the, to the past and um, think of it, enjoy it, or whatever. So, um, so this is the sense that playing late Brahms at this very particular moment makes for me. Um, then there is something more specific. The fact that Opus 117 starts with a Berceuse. Um, so, Brahms even includes some verses at the, at the beginning, at, on the top of the score. Schlaf sanft und schön, schlaf sanft, my kind. Uh, sleep, uh, sleep well, sleep softly, my child. So, what I really like about this is that before I start, this scene of someone putting a child to sleep, and this could be me because I have two children, so, um, and so I've done it this quite often, um, and I love to do it, so. I know how to do it, I mean, to put a child to sleep, so I try to, to in some way, reproduce this, this feeling in the music, um, and that is something that has been giving giving me a lot of pleasure with this Brahms cycle, especially the first piece. Um, when when we come to the second page of the first piece, the tempo is even slower than the beginning. Um, and then I imagine Brahms looking back to an even more distant past. So I, and I try to do it myself. So instead of imagining that I'm putting my children to sleep, then let me imagine that I am the one who is being put to sleep. So, and then we come to my point, because for those who were lucky to have been put to sleep by uh, loving people like I, I was one of the lucky ones, and, um, I think this is the moment of history, uh, of our history, uh, in which we have to think of those who have, we love and care 
put us to sleep day after day. Um, so I'm thinking of my mother, she lives in Porto, she's 82, and we have not seen her for months now because it, it's potentially dangerous. So um, I'm thinking of her because she loves this music, the Brahms of 117. But in a more, in a broader sense, I'm thinking of all grandparents, of all, all grandmothers and grandfathers who cannot see their grandchildren, who cannot hug their children. Um, so in some way, music is a way to do this, uh, to indirectly hug our beloved older relatives um, that, like Brahms at the beginning of Opus 117, who have put us to sleep in a more or less dis distant past. So this is the connection with the moment and it makes sense to me because I'm quite an, I'm quite an emotional person. So <laughs> for me, what I play has to make sense, sense emotionally. So um, when it makes sense emotionally, um, then I like it. Irina Zaritskaya, she was a wonderful human being and musician. Um, she once told me um, something like, uh, you must not let uh, music ruin your life, your life outside music, but you must also not let your life ruin your music. So, and this is, this is so important, this is the search for a balance between life and music, and music as part of life and life as part of music. So, my name is Luisa Tender, and this is Porto Piano Fest.